Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery bracket, battery, solid state drives, hard disk drive assembly, fan, trunk, and heat sink fan assembly. Removal. Important, make careful note of the routing of all the cables for later replacement. Caution, use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disengage the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the LED cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ribbon cable from the audio board. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the display panel ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Remove the 7 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement Note, before installing a new system board, Remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory modules. Wireless module. Audio board ribbon cable. Place the system board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Important. Ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the 7 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Insert the display panel cable into the display panel ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the audio board ZIF connector on the audio board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the LED cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad button board ribbon cable into the touchpad button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the card reader board ribbon cable into the card reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the power connector cable into its connector on the system board. Reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module.
Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.